Hello, all the good people at Crash Champion Store 0559. It's David at Discount Forklift. I am proud to be standing here next to your brand new 6,000 pound lithium ion powered forklift made by Lift Hero. It has got your custom logo on there. It's got your custom paint on there. Love the way this came out. I think it looks great. Logos on both sides, just so you know. Um, we name all of our forklifts. This is Corrine. I'll tell you a little secret. Um, she's a workhorse anyway, but if you call her by name, she'll work extra hard for you. She loves to be called by name, so keep that in mind. Um, excited to show you some things about that, but before we do that, let me get started with this here. I want to show you some things I'm going to send you in the goodie bag here. Here is a Lift Hero hat, our favorite brand of forklift. Here is a shirt that we're going to include in there. This is the evolution of lifting. Here's the front and the back. One of the best things that I've got to show you today is this uh, nice forklift maintenance guide. Now this forklift is relatively maintenance free, but uh, even so, I'm gonna send this, this guide along. We've got lots of good information and tips in here about forklifts and stuff. And one of the best things that's in here is back behind this tab here, there are your periodic sign-offs. Um, all those reports are in here. So I always recommend that people uh, leave the originals in the book here. That way you always know where there's a clean original when you go to shoot photocopies on there. Okay, so right back here by Kareen's name tag, there is a little door here. This is your charging port. Uh, very important here. You'll notice that this uh, sticker here says to remove the key uh, from the ignition before you charge it. Very important that you do that. Um, so just pull the key out. Then you've got this little push button there. You can open this up and you've got a rubber plug on top there. Just pull that off. You've got your charging... Uh, plug right there. Just take the charger, plug it right into there. The charger will come in a cardboard box on the back of the forklift here. Plugs into any 110 outlet, so easy to find a place to uh, charge it to. Charge it at, I should say. Let's run through the uh, controls on the forklift. This is a, a real basic, same uh, thing that you normally see in a forklift, same controls. You've got your three levers, you've got your up, down, you've got your tilt, and you've got your side shift on the steering column itself. Over here, you've got your transmission with three positions. Up is forward, middle is neutral, down is reverse. And on this side, you've got your lights and your blinkers. Not to ignore, over here on the far left side here, you've got a couple of important things. You've got your parking brake here, right here. And then the red button over here, that is your emergency uh, power cutoff to your battery. You don't need to use that every day. Don't be pushing the battery, uh, the cutoff switch in, but uh, you do need to know that it's there because if ever uh, you get in the forklift and go through your operations and it won't start up, check that. Most likely somebody bumped that and pushed it down. So just make sure that's pulled up, okay? Um, as we walk around the forklift here, I gotta tell you these tires, I just love the tires. They've got great tires on them no matter what, uh, terrain you're driving in, whether you're inside or outside, whether you're dirt and gravel, whatever, those tires will get you through. If you got a little precipitation, no problem. On the mast here, you have got a service sticker. We got a fresh service on this. That sticker's on both sides. So uh, you know when it's last been serviced. We're very safety conscious at Discount Forklift, just like you guys are. You'll notice that the forks have been painted red with yellow tips on them. That's so that uh, if you're driving somewhere uh, at dusk, early in the morning, maybe in a dark spot of the warehouse or across the blacktop where your, uh, your forks normally wouldn't show up with them being black. This will let you know where they are so you don't hit anybody or anything. We're very adamant that everybody should go home safe and sound at the end of every day. I want to do that. We want you guys to do it as well. Climbing on here, there are four things you need to know that you need to do before you can start the forklift. Number one, you got to have a butt in the seat. Literally, there is an operator present system. You've got to have um, a body sitting in the, the forklift. It will not operate. You can't start it from the ground. You can't operate the fork from the ground, any of that kind of stuff. Second is just common sense, your, your uh, seat belt. Please make sure you fasten your seat belt and keep it on at all times. Number three, your transmission has got to be in neutral. And number four, your parking brake's got to be on. So any of those four things are not... Uh, done properly, you will not be able to start start and operate the forklift. 
Let's uh, go ahead and start it up. Before I do that, let me show you a couple quick things. Um, another safety feature, right up here on the, the mast, you've got a label that's marked 6,000 pound capacity. Guys, you've probably all seen the horror videos and stuff of people that do something stupid with a forklift. Don't be one of those guys that has your video all over the, the internet. Be safe, go home at the end of the day. Um, you've also got a translucent roof on here. Keep you uh, out of the weather if you got a little precipitation going on. It'll give you some protection. And uh, if you got that blazing sun, it'll help you a little bit there too. Okay, now this forklift, um, two things. It's got a um, alarm on it that will make everybody around you aware that the forklift is in operation every time you turn on the key. And you may not be able to hear it on this video, but trust me, you will hear it in person. This alarm is there to notify everybody around you that there is a forklift and it is operating. As long as the key is on, that's going to uh, uh, sound. When you turn on the forklift, it doesn't have the, the engine in it, obviously. It's electric, battery powered, so you don't have the grinding sound. If you just turn on the key and it will uh, go through its own warm up there, it takes about 20 seconds to do its warm up and uh, checks and whatnot, and you'll be good to go. First thing I am going to do is I'm going to do a brake check here, demo the brakes for you. Got good brakes. Also, what you'll notice when you're going in reverse, you've got a grab bar back here that's got a, a red button. That's your horn. You got one in the center here. You can do it either way. Make everybody aware that you're operating that forklift so nobody gets hurt. Let me uh, go ahead and show you what she can do here. This space is a little too tight for me to really show you what she can do, but uh, I think you'll be very pleased with her performance. Here's your lights, guys. Off, lights on. Here's your, your blinkers. Um, let's run the mast up. Up and down, smooth, and glides forward. Lean it all the way forward, all the way back. Here's your side shift, all the way to the right, all the way to the left. Guys, I hope this uh, forklift takes a lot of the work off of your backs, makes it easier for you to get your work done. We do appreciate you uh, supporting us in our business so we can support you in your business. Thanks guys and here's your serial number.